Connie and Barrow have just tasted the 2023 vintage of Lorage. I am here with Louis Michaville, and uh, we are just going to have a few words about the vintage. Um, Lulu, it's great to see you again after a year. Um, Thank you to be here. It's yeah. a pleasure. No, it's always always great to be here. Um, I just wondered if we could speak about the 23 vintage at Lorage. Um, how was it? Well, 23 uh, Lorage is, uh, it's a little early huh, to talk about it, as we just talked, uh, said, but it's, it's a wonderful vintage. Uh, it's a rich, deep, very opulent vintage. Um, it's difficult to resume, to sum up the, the vintage just by the uh, climate, because we know that 23 uh, is probably one of the warmest uh, vintage that uh, we had. Uh, we had some also some, some rain from time to time, but uh, the 23 doesn't look exactly uh, like that. Uh, one very strong uh, uh, thing at Lorage, probably just at Lorage, is because uh, at the end of August, uh, we had a very, very warm, very hot uh, time. And uh, we, we had some uh, little sunburns on the, on the grapes. And this really gives a character of uh, a little, this uh, exotic uh, uh, resins character, aromatic character in, in the wine. So it, it's, it's very obvious. Um, and then you have all the, the richness and the opulence uh, of a vintage uh, like that. It's, uh, we, we test also the 22, 23, and they are, they are very different, huh? but it's, it's uh, for sure, it's a wonderful vintage. Yeah. You were explaining to me before about some of the changes in the cellar at uh, Lorage. It sounds like there are some very exciting developments and you've um, installed some new equipment. Could you tell us about that? Yes, uh, we, we bought the domain in 2007. Uh, we knew when we bought this that we had a lot of uh, improvement to, to, to do. Uh, the first thing was uh, to remove the, a part of the vineyard. So we, we replant about 60% of the whole vineyard. Uh, Lorage is now planted with 100% Merlot. It's a pretty cool terroir, so I'm more confident uh, in planting Merlot. Uh, than Cabernet Franc, I'm not, or, or even Cabernet Sauvignon, but I'm not so sure to have the, the, the best ripeness on the, on the Cabernet compared yeah. to, to the Merlot. Uh, and I'm, uh, I'm, I, I really enjoy the, the, the Merlot on this cool clay limestone terroir. Uh, I like the over ripeness of, of, uh, of the Merlot. Um, but also we improved uh, six years ago uh, we built a new uh, cellar for, 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 the, for the barrels, for the oak. Uh, so now we, are, uh, we can't uh, regulate completely the, the humidity and the temperature uh, in the cellar, so which is a very, very important thing for us, especially when you do 100% new oak every year, which is the case with uh, Lorage. And uh, last year we built a, a new cellar tank. So we have a, a big concrete tank um, to me, I think it's more homogeneous. Uh, we, we can regulate more uh, the, the, the fermentation, the alcoholic fermentation, and the whole process of the maceration. Um, techniques doesn't make everything, but it helps, and, uh, and it really helps at, uh, at large. Yeah, great. Um, finally, we always ask a silly question um, about the vintage, and we wanted to know if your 2023 vintage was a... Uh, an actor, okay. um, who, who would it be? That's a tough question. Um, 23, if uh, an actor, it will be probably, um, because we are at the beginning, maybe an actor that, which is not well known <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> because yeah. of the beginning, but with uh, a lot of promise, yeah. with a lot of, uh, of uh, 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 yes, uh, um, uh, uh, knowledge, but he, who has still something to, 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 to do and to, to, to develop. Yes. But it's, uh, it's very difficult to, to answer to that question. I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. I'm sorry. No, no, I question. am. <laughs> Lulu, Lulu Mitchellville, thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank you.